What is up guys? It is Son of the Tidy Whitey and we're back in with our first video of Caldon Standard and Caldon um, Arena in general. And this is what we're bringing. This is Crokey's list, um, or list by Crokey's. I changed it. I didn't actually change this one, no. I was thinking about changing it, but maybe I will. Um, anyway, the whole point is this is basically the, like very similar to your mono white list from last standard. Where are my pillows? Um, the only difference or the only difference is, is that obviously, if you haven't already noticed, we are splashing for red. And you're thinking, why would we splash for red for one card? As I'm sure you've already noticed, we are splashing red for one card, right? And you're thinking, wait, why, why would we do that? Why would we do that? This card is nuts. This card is definitely one of the top cards from this format um, in aggro in general. This card is like bonkers out of its mind. This saga is basically... So basically, when it enters the battlefield, right, you draw four cards that you can play this this turn and the next turn, um, even lands. And then the next two turns, every time you play a spell, you put a counter on a creature you control. How is this fair for only four mana? Like it's <laughs> in a mono white aggro in a deck like this, like it, with a bunch of cheap spells. Like look at this, hold up. Like like this, the biggest next spell is gonna be three mana, and maybe you get another one of these, which would be nuts. But like look at this, this is prime card advantage right here um and I, I expect to see any deck that's aggressive and playing white and red to play this card in a four of it's just amazing um and then we have our other creatures a whole lot more one drops than usual um that's probably jesus oh i'm having heartburn um that's probably because showdown and it's just easier to play more one drops but also one drops are fine in this deck, so we're going to take a look at them real quick. We have Alcid of Life's Bounty is only a two of. We're not really playing as much of the life gain as we were. We don't have any main deck Heliod, any main deck um, of the two mana guy. We just, we're just not playing as much life gain at all. Life gain at all. Giant Killer is a three of. Uh, still amazing. A lot of people have been playing. Um, I've played against. I've, I've played this deck four times, by the way, in best of three. I've won all four games. So, uh, and I played on my dad's laptop, my dad's laptop, and he doesn't have MTG Assistant, which is sad. So, it will say that I haven't played any games in this deck, but I have, I swear. Um, three giant killers, just killer bigger creatures, and then tapping things down is just amazing. Cards all around good. Selfless Savior is still in the deck, because even though I'm not playing as much of a one singular big creature, it's more nice to just, this card's just fine. Like, Giving one of these things indestructible or, you know, even one of these is just fine. Um, and then we have Usher of the Fallen is a, one of our newer cards. One mana, two, one, good stats, and has Boast, new ability. So Boast is, uh, you, are, you probably already know, but just in case you don't, uh, Boast is an ability that you can only activate if your creature attack this turn. And you can only activate the ability once per turn. So you can swing, and then before they block, you can activate it. Or you can swing, and then second main phase or end step activate it. But it has to be after they attack. And it, and it does an ability. So it'll it'll cost us two mana, and we'll get a 1-1 one, one human warrior. Uh, and this is just fine. If we have no two drop to play, uh, we'll just do that. And also, sometimes later in the game, you can put counters on it with stuff, and it will get big enough to just keep swinging and... Maybe make some tokens if you have more money, more mana. And then we have Kabir Takedown. Uh, one of the props of playing all these one ones is that we can play uh, this card pretty effectively. It is a land when needed, but it's just an efficient removal spell. Otherwise, um, and then we have Luminarch Aspirant. Basically, every mono white deck plays this card. It's just bonkers, especially with like lifelink type effects and. Just any creatures you don't want to die or like first strike, any of these, this thing. Like, it's just so good in this deck. So, yeah, we're playing it. Um, and then this card's also played in most mono white decks. Its ability to get indestructible uh, basically infinitely is just kind of nuts um, when you put counters on it or give it, you know, this. So, yeah. And then Shepherd of the Flock is a two of. Um, it's just because flickering this thing is the nuts. And also Skyclave Apparition or anything that they've you know, done anything to, whatever, get it out of a sticky combat situation, whatever. And then Maul of the Skyclaves, you know, goes in basically any creature, makes it really hard to hit, gives it first strike, plus two, plus two, amazing card against, especially against aggro. And this card is also the complete nuts. When So it's flash first strike, so it's basically meant to be played on your opponent's turn, right? Three mana, two, two, with first strike. Pro God, 
uh, pro gods, which hasn't actually come in handy yet. Haven't really hasn't really meant anything. But that's not that's not really why we're playing this card. When it enters the battlefield, you exile up to one target attacking or blocking creature until it leaves the battlefield. But that's not all. So let's say I've played against Gruul a bunch of times now, or two out of the four, I think, or maybe even three. When they swing with like a 1-1 one, one and a 4-4, four, four, you exile the 4-4, four, four, and then you just get a free kill on the 1-1. One, one. It's just so much value from a 3-drop, and I, I think this card's amazing. But it is legendary, and it does require um, them to be attacking or blocking, which I'd rather get them attacking. So that's why I'm only playing two rather than three. Um, and yeah, Flatclave so Apparition is just, you know... Basically every white deck plays this card unless they're playing Hushbringer. It it's just nice. It exiles every it exiles what it needs to exile, you know, whatever you need to get out. It doesn't hit Henge or Clee, which is annoying, but it hits basically everything you want. Um Yeah, and sometimes like you know, sometimes it just sticks and you they don't get the illusion or even if they do get the illusion, it's pretty easy to get around. So yeah. And then we have our amazing saga, of course, and lands. Um nothing new for here. Then sideboard, giant killer uh, is the, the fourth copy, just against creature decks, big creature decks. So good land turn against graveyard, which I haven't seen any as much of at all. And then this card, which is absolutely nuts right now, because this card stops foretold. Just a, just quick quick heads up. This card houses foretold. Play it in your sideboard. Um, it also gets adventures and stuff like that. Uh, Glass casket against creatures. Basri cat against control. Heliod against creatures, you're wondering why the heck are we playing one copy of Heliod when we have two Alciad of Life's Bounty. It's because he can give things lifelink. And also, we have a good amount of devotion um, fill filling cards. Um, and him being a creature is just nuts against the aggro deck. So yeah, we play him against aggro. And then we have Redain uh, as a one of, because Snow isn't really viable right now, I don't think. But even if it is, we're, we're still playing it um, just against a snow deck maybe if we find one or if the bottom ability really comes into handy or something whatever it is we'll just have it in here um and then he'll add intervention against artifacts and enchantments like gruel or whatnot but yeah if you if you're noticing there's gonna be a lot of of um of the better decks from old standard in here right now in in standard right now there's um definitely you're not gonna see as much i was trying to toggle that deck that's a deck, that's one of my pet decks, um, and I really wanted to make it work. I think I've said that in a video like a while ago, but I still really want to make it work. And it'd be nice to make it work, you know? Oh god, we need light. I'm a, I'm like a demon in here. One sec, I'll be right back. I have brought light to the darkness. <laughs> um, a two-line keep. On the draw is keepable, especially because we have red. I did. I've done a one draft with this set. Uh, I haven't finished it. I'm two and two with it, and it was just a red black berserkers in which I pack one pick one to the um, the rare berserker saga, which is pretty nuts if you get like multiple berserkers to swing with it. But besides that, it's kind of. Eh. I, don't know, I had a pretty dang. De I have a pretty dang decent berserkers deck. It's just yeah. Look, this is this is what I'm talking about. We see a lot of this. Um, it's it's literally just people playing Ghoul from old standard because they're kind of waiting to see what's what's getting good, and that's not a bad idea at all. Um, I just don't think you should be pushing in Mythic with an old deck unless you actually think it's working, which I've been seeing a lot of it. So maybe it is working, just not against me. Yeah, right, yeah, fail fasters, there, buddy. Nope. Okay. I mean, I'll I'll pitch out a uh, something, I guess. I think this card is definitely... What? I Okay, you know what? We're not going to talk about that. I don't know what I would have discarded anyway. Like, I'd rather just have this here. It'd be so nice if I drew a land here. Ugh. I think you play this. And we'll, um, we'll probably end up discarding this, probably, actually. Probably, actually. At least it doesn't have Edgewell and Keeper. I was about to say. Don't, don't make me regret saying that. Okay. I'm a little annoyed I didn't trade I didn't trade a card out for that one last time, but okay. Alright, so he's starting to run out of cards. If I could draw land here, I'm gonna be in such a nice position, but I can't for some reason, so 
Oof. <laughs> uh, technically, we have a 30% chance of drawing lands, but that's not adding in the four Amarius call on top of four Cabarius track down. So it's more like 46% chance of drawing a land. Pretty close to 50. And we've drawn a bunch of cards, and we, none of them have been lands, so I have a right to complain. So therefore, in conclusion, I have a right to complain. Uh, I'm actually gonna gonna discard this even though it's amazing. I'm never gonna play it and not being able to play things is not is not very amazing You know you feel me dog? Oh, or I could just block with this and then I think I'll do that actually. Yeah Because he's gonna make his scoots pretty big I assume Like there's not really any way of, of me killing this quite yet because he has, it's a 5-5. Five five. I mean, I could have double blocked, right? But I don't know if I was ready to do that. Rather just do this here. Name red, I think. If, like, this will kill, these two cards will both just kill Scoots. Or one of these. Like, if I could just draw one of them. Or draw land to play one of them. It'd be so helpful. But why can't I just do that? Like, that's... Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Scooze is getting more and more annoying by the day. I need to get this maul or just a removal spell in general before he does something too powerful for me to deal with. Oh, he has a... Um, yeah. He has a that. All right, we're gonna block Bone Crusher. Okay, okay. He's not giving us a, like the option anymore. He's a little too smart for that now. As in, are we? But this thing needs to die, dude. Like, if we don't draw land soon, okay. <laughs> Saved. If he swings out, mm, we get to get that. We get that free block on the one one. I'm not gonna put Maul there because he has enough creatures to make Skews bigger than. In it so would you like to put counters on your skews so there's no cleave coming now we can just we can choose to either dis discard another thing Oh, we should just... I don't understand what I have. Bro, you have another one? You're kidding me. Okay. Pretty sure he would have stomped this if he could. Oh, he did shuffle that last card away. Maybe he... Maybe he... Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to get a kill on the Bone Crusher and hopefully a kill on the Scoos. Is that really a stomp? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's just another excuse. Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Jesus. Well, I mean, it is dead, right? As soon as we get this out. But still pretty nuts. Um, definitely going to keep this Elsid to let it die to this. A little annoying to get to discard this mall, considering that was like our only win con, but. Okay. Let him get a green here, right? Start exiling some things with Scoos. Bro, that's honestly so annoying. Why don't you just exile some Scoos things? Please feed me. I think we're going to let him get the other guy, too. Um, that maybe that was wrong play. He could have like Embercleave here to just finish me off. 
But if he doesn't, I mean, I just giant kill the B. Oh my god, did you actually? Okay, I don't think he does. He's gonna get to kill my Sigrid. No, I think I just say no blocks, right? Or I just jump. Stay alive. Alright, just like keep myself from being in shock range. Which he might actually like have. So that'd be pretty scary. He's used one failed passage, so I'll, I mean, like, he could technically have a failed passage hiding in there that he's, like, waiting for, a, you know, the two mana on one. But he's already drawn two of those. One of them got exiled, right? Yeah. So, I mean, like, let's see. The Zondu Mammoth. Putting counters on the first strike thing not only makes it harder to kill, but also makes it just have first strike and be very powerful. I think that's slightly better than putting a counter on the hollow blade because if he doesn't draw a removal spell here, we put it at four toughness or four. Yeah, we make it a four four, which dodges all the removal spells basically. So it's pretty nuts. We'll chump this, obviously. Obviously, come on now. We could have blocked with this and lost the land, but I didn't really want to lose to like. Him out of your removal spell. Oh, that's a nice draw. I'll give you that. Okay, we need to put a counter on, on this guy, actually, sadly. And we can keep one land, I think. But we need to, we need we definitely need one land, but I think we can we can play one out, that's what I meant. Because we have like the max is four drop. I don't think we need anything more though. Like a Marius call is not really something I'm gonna strive for right now. <laughs> Did you really draw a bolt? I'm gonna be so pissed. He did draw a bolt, didn't he? Scooz is so good here. If you drew a bolt, you're like in in for it, you know, man. Like you're you're just chilling. I hope he didn't. Did you just feed me that? Why did you feed me that? That was weird. Okay, we'll crack this. Uh, get white because women have one red card and only costs one red. So, white mana. Hello. Um. We can get back John. Someone knock on the door. Ah, one sec. My dog's yelling. Let's mute for a sec. Oh, hey, thanks, Tyler. What's up, man? Oh, you gotta go? Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Let's put a counter on, on the homie here. Swing out. Uh, no, no, I'll swing like this. 4-4 four, four first strike. It's just pretty nuts against the Gruul deck, to be honest. Especially because he's kind of just going to get his Mammoth tapped down until the end of time, so... Oh, well, one of his Mammoths is getting... And we can actually bounce this to hand and use it same turn. I'm keeping this land for sure. Um, okay. Gotta take out that stuff. Pretty good, pretty good. If he gets a land here, I'm totally fine with just like... Oh my god, that's so nice. If we go... Um, we, we put Giant Killer in front of one of the Mammoths, right? And then before damage, we return it to our hand and use it to kill the other Mammoth. Unless he's Emberclave. Oh, is he gonna go to kill them both? Just drop a land, man. Come on. I'm dead, actually, here, by the way. Oh! Shh. Shh. 
Sha. Oh, you know you. Oh no. Shh, guys. He'll never know. He'll never know, guys. Just, just let, just, just. <laughs> what? Okay, let's be a little more careful this time. Um. I'll just keep swinging with this. He had me dead. I'm literally have no creatures, and he has six power on the, on the board, and I'm at six. He has exactly lethal on me, and he doesn't kill me. Is this where he draws Embercleave? Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> but Embercleave wouldn't even work unless he put it on Shield Breaker. My ears. Oh my. Oh, okay. We have five mana. Okay, I was like, wait. Sigrid's pretty nuts right now, actually. Like, he can't really do anything against it, it feels like. Pog champ check. Gonna have four, uh, three lethal targets after I put a counter on this guy, and he'll have three blockers. I mean, like, that's pretty fine. And also we have Sigrid now, which I guess we'll have to lose our other Sigrid, but it's better to lose a Sigrid than lose, right? Like, uh, okay. He had, he had a lethal on it. I still don't understand why we are still playing this game. <laughs> like, we should not be in this game. We should be dead. Can, can someone explain why I'm not dead now? <laughs> Is it just because opponent bad? Did I- I paid him enough, chat. I paid Mr. Dragon Slayer 19. That's such a generic name. Maybe I did pay him, guys. Maybe he's a bot. He could be a bot, guys. He- he low-key, like, he could be a paid actor. Who pushed just- who pushed into Mythic just so that I could pay him to lose again, you know? I lose to, no, I don't lose to cleave. As long as I have chub block, block, jump block, 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 jump. As long as I block it, I will not lose to it. Okay. We have giant. Okay, he's good. Okay, I. <laughs> Let's stop talking about that. Technically, shouldn't even really be in this game, but I sh technically shouldn't be playing against that list anyway. So that's what we're gonna chalk it down to. Wait, why am I playing that? Okay, this is always the predicament I'm put in, and I always think it's, I think it's the, the selfless savior out, right? Like, oh, we usually want to take Heliod out for the second selfless savior. I forgot I've been doing that recently. I put Heliod in for the second selfless. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I won, like, four straight to get in here from 96. I went from 96 to 98. And then I won and stayed in, I won one, stayed in 98, and then won one, pushed up to 99, and then won and got into this. So. Very ant hand. Only two creatures, but at least we have like a removal spell and an artifact slash enchantment removal spell. Okay, there's something, I guess. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how our lands are going to look up look like like or what a lands are gonna look like i think this is just play giant killer turn no i think we just play this top right because we'll try and giant killer away this guy on three unless he has a if he has something here i'm gonna feel pretty yeah if he has that i'm gonna feel pretty bad but he does so i'm gonna feel pretty bad like if, if we had just played that here we would have been able to kill this but we can't so our fault but it's okay he gets to draw a card. I mean, we wouldn't have been able to kill the love struck if that happened. We would have had to use the apparition on it. This is already like a really bad curve, to be honest. Like now, I have to up on top upkeep draw kill love struck beast like on our turn, just so we don't get housed by by it, right? Like, but housed by a henge. The henge would just like uh, I guess we wouldn't be housed by it, but it would take off an entire another entire turn from us. He didn't swing. He's scared. He's a coward. Let's kill Lovestruck Beast. Alright, we have removal spells now. 
including a cre including another creature, two creatures actually, if you count Giant Killer and the Maul. So, not horrible right now. Oh God, this is horrible. And he has another adventure creature. You already know. You already know. You already know he got that second adventure creature, guys. All right. Well, that's a land. Not bad. Whoops. Did what? I was like, obviously you're taking that, right? Like, if we get our our amazing showdown of this of the scalds, that'd be pretty poggers. Pretty poggers, not gonna lie, man. Not gonna lie, dude. Oh, totally not a hinge. I mean, a cleave. Yeah, I'm too much of a coward to block that. Come on. That was way too obvious, dude. That was way too obvious. Yeah, that's what you wanted to play on. Perfect. Perfect for you. Uh, but it's okay. We have Maul and a Kaberi's takedown. Get the one red out. Get this out. Maul. Darth Maul. <laughs> well, we also have this. I just, I just realized. But we don't really need it right now. Because first strike, we have a bigger first strike creature. So technically, that's just they both fight each other at the same time, and that's usually dies to three, four, like. Mm. That might have been a good time to just kill an edge wall and keep her, but I guess we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll find out right now. Okay. Well, at least you have a removal spell for this guy. I'm going to kill an edge wall and keep her with this, like, right now. And I'm probably going to end up giant killering this giant killering <laughs> giant killering giant giantly killing it that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna giantly kill it kill it like a giant would you know don't i think this is all end up trading with something hopefully rather than um being you know give keep continuing uh Rather than me continuing to give it indestructible, just because I want this Heliod's intervention for this cleave and I want this apparition for whatever bomb he throws at me next. Against Gruul, this is kind of how we play. Uh, we kind of just really cautious, make sure we're keeping all our options open, and that's a third edge wall and keeper. <laughs> but we kept this Heliod's intervention, we played perfectly here, so now we get to take out his cleave and his henge in one fell swoop. So that's just good, right? Like, get him out of here. Now you're on the back foot, right? So, nah, I think we'll actually chill for this turn. And I can't really uh, wait, though, to put Maul on Hollow Blade, and we'll just keep giving an indestructible with whatever we draw. Um,. Even unless it's like, you know, oh my god, okay, sure, have a second bone. There's no playing around that because it's legendary, so we wasn't going to play it anyway, right? There's, there's a no, oh, but we drew this, so we're, 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 we're catching up, hopefully, with the card advantage. Maybe we'll find the second Heliod's intervention. Maybe not, it's okay, though. This is opponents, pretty poggers. Um... I think we just Skyclave Apparition, right? And just take out like an Edge Wall and Keeper. And we need to start racing, right? This is then we go as fast as possible because we're actually starting to realize that we are going to run a ton. Yeah, I'll trade this with an Edge Wall and Keeper. Okay. Like, yeah, I'll try Giant Killer with Edge Wall and Keeper. Fine with me. Uh, I think the whole point here is we're going to start, we're going to cast as many spells as we can next turn. Get as many of them on uh, counters on this on this hollow blade as we can. Get a one one, I guess it doesn't mean too much. What matters though is that we didn't play this, so he gets to play this and he gets the henge and it's nuts and that's not very poggers. But we're basically just gonna try and look to win in the air here before he can like cleave us out with another cleave, so that's the idea. 
Bottom scry is what I like to see. Though you have five mana. If you have cleave, just show it to me. Ooh, rhymes. My eyes. I'm gonna keep this apparition, slow him down a little bit. Um, I'm actually gonna look to just put all the stuff on the giant killer. So, yeah, I guess that's that's just what we'll do. Um, giant killer is gonna be a big boy. We can rather efficiently take care of all of his creatures, though. That was pretty cool. If I get questing beast here, I'm if I ha if I get hit with a questing beast here, I'm dead. But I think I'm just gonna risk it. <laughs> hey, perfect. It's not a creature. She doesn't get the henge. I'm gonna get to just kill it. Kill it. So now he's on top decks. That's a good draw. Counter on this guy. Cloth has gone by. That, that would have put us in a pretty bad position if we had let that guy live. And this sigil's cigarette, I mean, is pretty good. Um, we are not gonna have lethal next turn. We need to. We are. We're two turns away. Um, but we have cigarette to get rid of. You know, something nice. But if he has like a. Okay. Yeah. yeah you get a. Th you get a three three. He can't play bone crusher giant by the way, because giant's magic state stops him. Nice. Hope you understand that this card does that. Um, it's this one, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna pip it for you. You should read cards, dude. It helps. That was really rather hypocritical, hypocritical considering I don't read enough cards, but shh, chat. Shh. <laughs> don't worry, chat. Everything's going to be okay. He's dead next turn. Maybe. But, like, how does he do get out of this, right? Like, this is seven toughness. Do you actually have enough? He might actually have enough to just... Nice draw, bro. Dubs. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, what do you think is going on here, bro? You dead? I'm not gonna not make a one-one before combat like that. Like, come on, GGs. 5-0 and with the deck, even though this says um, I've only won one. I was only 200 for, for that win? What the heck? Last time I was here, I went from like this number, basically, to like 800, but okay. Going for that red. Oh, we have another one? Wait, what? Come back here. Rune of Speed! I wanna try and build a rune stack. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, this guy just got... Oh, wait. Oh, we have to go this way. Okay. Arnie. Oh, Bergie's in here. Yeah, that's why I chose red. Uh, now I remember. Alright, run it back. Run it back, Turbo. Let's go, guys. Playing against Rin, 92%. Dude, I, I've played against so much Ghoul. Like, I just want to play against a new deck. I haven't really played against anyone playing anything, like, new. Like, I played against one guy who was playing um, Blue Red, though. Blue Red Snow. With, like, the, the dragon. That was cool. That was actually really cool. Got a hand to that guy. I beat him, obviously. But, um, I'll, besides that, I've been playing as Ghoul, I'm pretty sure. Oh, my God. Come on, guys.
Someone come up with a new deck. You know, y'all need to play someone else. It, this please be something else, like not Gruel. Like I, I can beat Gruel, obviously, but like the pain. <laughs> oh, is that a stomp? That's not a stomp. Hog. Hog. Six life. Dump down the drain. So this Alistair of Life's bounty can swing. Are you gonna trade? What? Okay. We'll accept it. Really didn't think he, was wanna, he would want to do that there, but we we okay. <laughs> but okay. Uh, if I could draw an untap land here, that'd be pretty poggers. But neither did he, so we're chilling. Um, I think I'm fine with taking two here. He needs to find a land, right? He's pretty slow. Where's his land? He's just one turn behind us now. We'll get red here, just in case we draw the 8%. Eighteen minutes can save you eighteen percent or more on guy kill. Just in case you're wondering. Gotta, gotta say that. Gotta add that to every stream. 18 minutes, or 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on Geico insurance. Dude, that, their, their commercials are so iconic to the point, like, it's kind of insane how they got, how they made their commercials, like, that iconic. Like, are they double blocking? They are double blocking. Sure, dude, I'll allow it. Sure, dude. Boast. Don't really think we need this or this. I'm just gonna add a 1-1 to the board. Rather not really play a spell right now. Just keep riding out the board. I just wanna see what he has. Okay, so there's an apparition target. I guess to put a counter on some. Something. something, something, a little something, something. Also Shepherd the Flock deals with that, which is pretty cool, by the way. Like Shepherd the Flock will bounce us back. But we're, uh, oh yeah, we'll just use Shepherd the Flock. What am I saying? Like, I don't need, I don't care about this. Oh, maybe I do. Depends what I draw here. Yeah, I think I... No, we'll, we'll shepherd the flock this. Oh, it's permanent. I can... Oh, I can draw. Okay, apparently we can't shepherd the flock it. We're doing this. Right. Get him out of here. Come here, boyo. Um, we'll do this. I think we'll double... No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, multiple things at once, and it's probably getting confusing for you guys, and I'm sorry. It's my brain moving much faster than my mouth is. Because I'm big brain. Just playing against your everyday girl matchup. This is like all you'll see right now, by the way. Like, I have played so many games now, it feels like. I've played for hours upon hours. And all I put against is this dang deck. Dang deck. The trade. Next turn, we'll Sigrid or whatever. Like, it really just depends on what he what he decides to play here. Oh, it looks like a the Shatter Skull thingy. Feels Apparition and Aspirin. Gets a 4-4. Four, four, pretty good. Pretty dang good. Pretty, pretty good. Not gonna lie. How am I so big brain, you may ask? It's because I saw him hovering over the two cards and like no, no other card does that. So, therefore, he's doing the thing. This card's pretty good against the token though. Jesus, my eyes. Hmm. We can't block this. Oh, no, we'll kill it next turn because we have four creatures. I still don't take this. I'll play, like, one of these or whatever, and then I'll... Oh, okay, I can do this, too. Um... I'm dead to questing beast, so yeah. <laughs> but he's dead to other things, so yeah. Questing beast number two. Apparently not. Apparently not. 
No questing beast para tu. Oh, I just realized this one. Hold up. Come back here. So, 3 mana 2 3 flying vigilance isn't bad, right? The whole point of this would be against against Gruel would be to stop or to make Cleave more expensive, Shatter Skull Smashing more expensive, and um, Henge more expensive. Because I think when when they're casting this, this actually will become more expensive. I, I don't know. This is not really worth it, to be honest. We already know what we're boarding out. Dreadnought Magistrate is just so good sometimes. Like, if they don't realize it, or if they've already played the adventure ability, just canceling that out is nuts. And then also, Fortel is just gone. But I, obviously, this deck isn't playing Fortel. And this card also, the, the Dreadnought Magistrate also houses uh, Vivian from, from playing spells at the top with Vivian. So that's pretty good. Okay, that's not a edge wall, so that makes me pretty happy, you know? Happiness is good. Although, if it was an edge wall, if, this, if there's an edge wall here, we're pretty sad. Or if there's like a red, untapped red source, oh, it's tapped like a card. Oh, and we drew a, um, a giant killer. And then he plays this, we kill that, we put another counter on Aspirant. Like, we're, we're feeling pretty good here, unless he has like Stomp. But then like, then he's on, behind us again, and then we're, we're feeling, you know, feeling pretty chill. Kill that. Because we don't like giants. There's also, I was looking at like a mono red giant deck, um, which I actually have in the works. If you notice, the um, Crystalline Giant is a giant, the artifact from, I think, uh, Ikoria, the one that puts like random counters on it. That's also a giant. And then there's the four mana, like the red slash green, like four red slash green mana, uncommon from um, another set that I remember. How is this guy moving so fast? Holy God. Everything, he, everything is like out of whack with this dude. It's so weird. You guys not notice it? Like, he swung, and then this was just solving as he was swinging. Like, what? Do we play this? And No, I think we just, like, we have to get rid of this, right? But do we have to get rid of both? Like, is there... Oh, we can't do both in the same turn, but should we do this and this, or this and this? I kind of want to do these two, because Hollow Blade seems pretty nice to get some counters on. And this Hollow Blade can actually, like, just chump, uh, or can be sent at the, uh, brush fire. Like, I can just block the brush fire with it. Unless he has, um, Fib Lead Passage, but that'd be annoying. The only thing Glass Casket kind of just doesn't... Oh, no, no, mind, no, mind. Was... Oh, perfect. He doesn't have a, a Fabled Passage. It's okay. Now we have a target for our, um... Just to put a counter on something cool. I get hit for two. You've done it. You've hit me for two. I should just scoop now. I don't know what I should do, guys. I, I, I've been hit for two. Like, it's it's basically GG's now, right? Like, What is this? Five mana? And this needs... Seven, but we have one more. So I mean, technically, with another land, we can play this. I think I'll keep one of them. Maybe depends what happens. If he's another Crone War here, I'm pretty screwed. Yeah, I'm expecting that goes through. Okay, but I mean, he'll take a tap creature most likely, right? And then he'll be weak. We'll just see what he what he has first, obviously. We have 13 health, so we're not really going to get Cleave out of existence here unless he has a, you know, failed passage, which would be pretty toxic. <sighs> Bro, Gruul is, like, all I'm playing against. I've said this multiple times. I'm going to keep saying it because this is the best title for the video. But what do we title this video, guys? Like, the Gruul Farmer? But that's literally what my Boros midrange was. Like, the last time I did something like this. It was, like, the last time I played a Boros deck was Boros midrange. And it was, it was like the same thing as this, but. Oh, that's a good yard. My eyes twitching again. Oh, I see a giant killer. 
And we have a Sigrid. Alright, so. Okay. That's a problem. Unless you get this uh, land, the game area is called now. Diversity is our greatest strength. Diversity is our greatest strength. Then put well. <laughs> well, well put. Put well. <laughs> put well. For oh, what's the chance? Oh, it's not very high. I guess. Um. I guess. <laughs> uh. We'll just keep tapping down some things. Just, you know, Sigrid's pretty good here. Uh, we're just gonna try and like maybe make Hollow Blade into a, a seven power creature and kind of force him to block it every turn. If I could just get a land, I can play a Marius Call and give all my creatures indestructible. And then I'm kind of just chilling with, with the swing with both of the, with the Luminar Gasprin and the Hollow Blade, but it's just, it would, it's just a wait, right? Like, This hits Planeswalkers? What? Okay, I think I go Sigrid, uh, whatever he blocks here, right? And then I just kill the Planeswalker because we have the fifth creature. That hits Planeswalkers? Chat. Did you know that? I didn't realize this card was so bonkers. Get the token out of here. See if he, he's gonna see if he uses a removal spell because that'd be pretty dang bad if he. Look, he has something. I just want to see what he has so I can kill this Vivian. Gotta put a stop here because I don't want to let him draw a card. Like, we're just gonna go for it now. Here go. I have exactly five creatures, so if you kill one of my creatures here. Okay. Thank heavens we didn't go to let him go to draw. We we playing this really right now, guys. Like uh, my brain is 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 bigger now. <laughs> Big brain time. Oh, and that could have been used as a land, by the way, for the call, but we don't talk about that. That was actually just a fine sequence. We forced him into two chump blocks and killed his planeswalker. Like, I think we're just doing fine now because he can't really compete with the five fives. Gets in with some swings. That's a free block. Do this like this, right? Just give giant killer indestructible. Oh. Math time. Not dead. Wait. Not dead. I'm gonna be a one. If I had sacrificed the selfless savior there, I was dead. If he had waited, I would have sacrificed selfless savior and he would have beat me. But he puts me to one here. <laughs> you should have waited, dude. I People are- I don't understand why I'm, I'm so mentally clear right now, and, and no one else is. Like, what- the guy before that had- had lethal me, right? Like, the other ghoul player? People just, like, are missing- like, blatantly missing lethal and stuff. Like, what is going on? This guy's nuts, chat. He's nuts, dude. I'm gonna make that that letter those letters bigger by the way the latest follower letters like that needs to get a little bit bigger uh against the Yorion deck ooh maybe something new or maybe it's just Esper Doom Esper Doom uh we're gonna I got this because we already have everything we need definitely gonna put counters on Aspirant um because we have self savior and I'm not really gonna waste counters on savior just for it to save my Aspirant right like this card needs to die real quick for him to not die, so. Oh, Abzan, okay. Oh. 
All right, so we have Sky Clave Apparition, and then if we draw a land, we're pretty set. If we don't draw a land, then we're drawing a spell, and that's not horrible either, I don't think. Okay, so we have to get rid of this, right? There's a land, though I'm doing this now. Put the counter back on there. Might have to actually use this to kill something, but I doubt it. <laughs> it's just like Abzan Doom, probably, with no third land drop. I'm not that lucky. Come on, man. Does he actually not have a third land drop? No way, I didn't. Does he have Wolf Willow Haven or something? Oh, what the heck? What the? What is this dude doing? Okay, he really had to, had to get out that two drop, man, for real. Might have to use this as a kill spell. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna. Might have to, though. Get the two two. Nah, this is just better, I think. I'll trade you. Mmm, an amazing combat right there. That, that was like the best combat you guys have ever seen, I'm sure. Trading the- both Skyclave Apparitions have exiled CMC2 cards and just traded with each other. So we just turned our 2-2s two into 2-2s. Two amazing combat right there, guys. Phenomenal. Never before seen combat. Such power has never been displayed at such high levels before. Okay, he doesn't have a fourth land. Maybe. <laughs> we'll never know. That he does have a fourth line. What he just playing so slow? It's I guess that's like technically the right play, but okay. Try hard right now. I'm doing fine, but I, oh come on! If I hit a land here off one of these four, so nice. Yes, dude. If I can shepherd this back to my hand in response to him trying to kill it, that'd be nuts, dude. Oh my god, do it. Go for it. Go for it. Kill it, dude. Come on now. You know you want to. Is he just getting your hand back? Okay. There we go. So we'll just play both of our hollow blades, I think. We didn't draw another land. We need we need the land here to get Shepard back. Um, or just to Shepard this guy back for next time. So we'll just go Hollow Blade, Hollow Blade. Lose our she our savior to the abyss. Savior gets counter. Hollow Blade gets a counter. Combat. Is this where you just crack food? After your draw step. So yeah, yeah. So we can we can just do it on upkeep if we really need to. Ah, oh, this turn. Okay. So I'm not gonna get a counter for this if I do it on his turn, which I will be. But that's okay. Like, that, this card just drew us three cards and put two counters on, on creatures. And then it's coming back. Like, this, I love this card so much. And it would have put more counters if we if we kept on the board longer. But it's about to come back. Like, we're about to flicker it again, basically. If he goes to kill it... That's just what I'm looking for, really, is for him to go to kill it. At the bottom. This is just Croaky's Abzan list, it looks like. Okay. He just names even with this. I mean, we let it go. Was it like, there's no way you name odd, right? Like. 
Come at me. Come here, bro. There's the lamb. How about this chat? That's a, a pretty dang good exile too. We get to play all these, all, all, all two of these guys. Just run out the next land next turn. We got two lands and two spells. Not horrible, I guess, right? Like, can't really complain. Obviously, we'll do this. We like our Aspirant more than we like our Doggo. Although, Doggo is, is pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Do like a good Doggo. Who couldn't, right? Um, although, it looks like he's running a spell, so we might just want to drop our Doggo and try and go big on the Aspirant. Don't know if that's really going to play out as, uh, as well as we want it to, but we're going to see, right? Swing, man. It's not like it's indestructible. Before I forget. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Um, no, don't we want to add anything else to the board? Really, the only way we lose here is, because it is if he has, like, Extinction Event or, like, Glass... I mean, Glass Cast isn't going to kill us because we have the Apparition. And Apparition isn't really going to do... I mean, Apparition would be pretty good, but... I guess a third, appar uh, a third Apparition in an 80-card deck, like, the chances of that aren't, aren't high. Although, he did make a slight misplay there. I definitely would have cracked Egg on end step if I was him. Just used one mana and just, like, you know how you go Golden Goose with... Uh, oh, God. He gets one permanent. Okay, sure. Seven mana, get back your three drop. Take out this aspirant, bruh. Needs to die, needs to die. Okay, okay. I see you. Gotta get that value. Just get as many lands out of our deck as possible. Um. Like this. Gonna start putting stuff on, on our homie here. Um, don't know if we really care about, about this apparate. Oh, okay. Apparently we do. Get him out of here. <laughs> Let's put a counter on an odd thing, I think, like this, right? Helps dodge Harvest Act, but also... Um, Means that we're not gonna get like totally destroyed by a extinction event. Right? Like, I'd rather put more of my chips on my weaker creatures. Like, cause if he if he names even here, he's gonna pick up these three for free, and then we'll have lethal on him, right? So the whole point of that is you can name even here, but we'll still have like almost lethal on you at least. So we'll still have you on a clock. That's the that's the whole thing. We're just trying to keep him on that clock. He scries on top. That's pretty scary. Looks like he's trying to get back his Yorion, which won't really do him anything this turn. Oh, he has one in his hand. Okay. Gets the flick of the Apparition, um, which is pretty nice. Probably takes out our own Apparition. But, like I said, we'll just have to see. He's going to get some food. Um, so we'll have three more life available to him, which will be kind of fine, though. He gets a, he gets, yeah, he gets a card, a food, and to, kill some, uh, to exile something, any of these things. Um, so we'll just, we'll just, you know, we'll just see what he takes. That's probably, if I were him, I'd take this apparition here. It gives him another 3-3. Three, three. And it's our biggest creature anyway. <laughs> so, just seems like the, the proper pick. Though we have a pretty large board now. Oh, Maul is also a, a decent pick. Oh, something smells really good. Definitely gonna have to go eat that after this game, guys. 
Mom's making, I think some soup. But it's like super like sausages. I think that's what she said. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do we have the, the nuts? I don't think so. My arm's shaking, guys. Look at it. I haven't lost a game of magic today. Oh, no. Cap, I lost, um, uh, another thing. I lost a, um, come on, think, uh, draft games. I lost, I lost some draft games. That's, that's what I lost. Is he jumping the apparition? Pro white. See, I have a removal spell. Sure. Not gonna trade the thing for that. He goes to two, and we get a three three token. Um, so if he names even, he'll take out everything except for these two. Uh, that's pretty dang good. He's looking at our even things. Yeah, he has it too. Wow. Do you actually... Okay, I was going to say. Do you actually have that, dude? You're cocked. Saber is worth more than aspirin. Just got to keep, like, weighing our cards. Especially because aspirin makes another threat lethal. Like, it's just totally fine to do that there. Goose. Okay, so, I mean, like, I don't think we're dead. Uh, we're, we're beating him here just because he has more food, right? But, I don't know. We'll have to see, right? So, he blocks three of our things, and he takes five. Oh, he's dead. He's, like, dead, dead, right? He put a count on three, three, right? Okay, hold up. He blocks the two four fours and a three, three, right? The things that get through are this 2-2 two, two, and the 3-3, three, three, which is 5 damage. He can eat 1 food because he has 3 mana. He's dead. You're dead exactly, by the way. You are exactamundo dead. You get one trigger on your Trail of Crumbs, but it will cost you, you know, mana, so. And you have to crack food. And it has to be permanent. Like, there's no... It, it's GG's, bro. Food Goose has Summoning Sickness. This doesn't work like that. That's GG's, man. G... G... H. Good half over there. Guys, we're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing. A quick little 3-0 with this deck. Hop this, gotta cop this, pop this video up real quick. What's my, um, take a look at YouTube Studio, see what my video's been doing. Ooh, six views, pretty poggers. Not great. Oh, seven, actually. Um, uh, you okay. okay. Just like waiting for him to finally realize that he's dead. Um, can't cast spells anywhere other than their hands. Don't have any of these do that, actually. Like, okay. Um, we don't need this. Might be fine. Uh, what do we want to take out here, though? Maybe sit. No, I think this card's just fine. I think this deck is just fine, like how it is. Definitely gonna be a lot easier for us, uh, game three, when we're on the play, but we'll see. Maybe we get him in, like, you know, a bad position. Maybe he has to test him again a couple times. I don't know. Draws aren't perfect. <laughs> Motema. Hey, I'm, we're, we're doing pretty good. It's been a while since I've been in this high in numbers, to be honest. Like, I usually, I just haven't really pushed the last couple of Mythic seasons. I kind of just played. Like, I didn't really push, I just played. You feel me? You feel me, dog? A land here would be amazing, but we draw a third Cyclave Apparition. Okay. I mean, we have another land here, but I'd so much rather have an untap land to boast this if it even swings, but... Apparently, our 1-1 one -one is worth killing, so... Oh my god, really? Come on, man. Come on, man. 
Oh, Shiver of the Flock gets back lands, too. So if we have, like, eight mana, we could technically get back the, um, like, a, um, Amaria's Call Land, whatever it's called. Amaria's Domain thingy. Amer Wait, it doesn't even show the other half. That's annoying. Can I get a land, though? Like, that'd be really helpful. It'd be so helpful. In fact, it'd be, like, imperative for us to win. So, I mean, like, we either draw a land here or we lose, right? Like... We don't we don't draw this land next draw we, we're, we're already one behind now right so if we become two la two land drops behind this this is not winnable it's winnable just like we're still we're still playing this game even after we miss the land drop just because this hand is pretty nice but like this in, in any in, yeah this is barely winnable barely Okay, well, we'll see. Might as well play it out, right? Might as well, might as well go. We got the, we just got this glass casket. Get this usher back. Two more skyclave apparitions. We have this to fight off, uh, like if it attacks or blocks or something. We have a small. We have Basri Ket, which is pretty nice, um, to be honest. I got Basri to ult one game against a Gruul West, in which I barely beat them, but I still beat them. So, yeah. Wait, what? Apparently, Apparition needs to die. Oh, that's true. He didn't have green until now. Goosey, goosey, goose. Bro, Apparition the fourth? Okay. Fine, then. I'll use it. Okay, okay, chill. Like, <laughs> like chill. Like, <laughs> we don't need to keep doing this. Oh, yeah, let's do this, guys. Two twos for two twos. How has this happened twice now? Is it just because we have a lot of two twos and he's just kind of like done this? But look at our hand. Our hand definitely suggests otherwise. Like we don't have a lot of two twos. Look at our hand. Like you know, amazing trade here. Amazing. I especially love how I'm trading up now. Like I don't need this apparition. I'll have a Yorion go. Oh, I'm giving him the three three. Whoops. I was like, wait, I'm getting a three three, aren't I? Nope. Got a land for me, bud. There you go. Okay, I kind of like want another land, but come on, beggars can't be choosers, right? Like, he has no more apparition, right, on the battlefield, so hopefully this means that we don't get our Basri killed. He has Doom foretold, I'm sure, and more apparitions in the deck, and maybe something else that I don't know of. He could always just kill our 3-3 and beat our Basri down to 1, but I mean, like, that wouldn't kill it. That would just weaken it. I'll trade. You give me a choice. You give me a chance. I'm gonna take it, bro. Yorion's pretty good here. Flickers goose and two food and two eggs. Right, gets two draws. Plus he gets a creature off of it. Oh, there it is. Nice, dude. Amazing. Got that second apparition. Don't worry though. We only have uh three. Only three. Only three. Don't. Don't even worry about it, bro. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, bro. Honestly, just it's just three, bro. It, it's it's just three. No way we have a fourth, right? The chances of us having a fourth are like so low, you know? Like no way. Like no way, dude. It would be really helpful if we like didn't miss that land drop that that one turn, but okay. Yeah, I don't think there's a way we win this chat. We're just gonna like keep trying to keep up with him, which we're not going to do. If that's not obvious. Like, we're just going to lose to this Yorion whenever he decides to play it. Oh, he just lost an egg? Why did he sack an egg? This man is, like, weird. Like, weird, weird. Why did you sack an egg, dude? The egg is what you Yorion clicker, but okay. Don't worry, we had a four. The fact that we do four of this is kind of toxic. But okay. But okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Nope. Oh god, the the Abzan deck has damaged me. Ah. Please target the three three. I'm gonna laugh so hard. Okay. Sure, you get the foos and one card. Like not as good. A foos and a card. I call it a foos. <laughs> it's a foos chat. 
Duh. What, do you, what have you guys been calling it, weirdos? I have no protection for my creatures, so like, there's no way this thing sticks, but we're swinging for six. Even though we know it ain't gonna sticks. I can't, I can't like, pick out the rhyme for that real quick, but okay. We don't even have red mana, so we can't draw, like, a showdown of the Scalds and get away unscathed. Oh, is this a board wipe? Weird board wipe if it is. Is he just racing us with removal spells? That's pretty good. Oh, I just realized we put a counter, so it dodges Heartless Act. Pretty nice. Yep, yep. Next time he goes to swing with the Yorion, we'll... Oh my god, no, we can't. We can't take away the Yorion like that. He'll just kill this thing, and then... No. No. <laughs> oh god, the pain. <laughs> the pain, chat. If that actually happened to us, oh my god, we'd just be dead. Okay, I think we just play this and we put counters on this guy. Because, like... If... If he actually got, um, if he killed the cigarette after we got the Yoron, like another free Yoron trigger, oh my god, nuts. And he can do it instant speed, basically, because he's most likely has a Heartless Act here. How'd I know, you may ask? Um, I'm a wizard. I will answer. I'm a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh god, he's swinging with that and that. Um, is there any chance I could just, like, not block? I don't think so. Now he just kills Hollow Blade in response, right? Apparently not. You'd think he would, but okay. Maybe it's a sorcery speed, like the one minute um, kill spell. Or that. Yeah, striding on the draw and then missing a line drop, even though we drew four Skyclad Apparitions, just isn't gonna cut it for this game. And we need to board out Sigrids because there's no way we're playing that. <laughs> Like, that, that needs to go. <laughs> Where are you at, Sigrid? Get out of here. Okay, what did, what, did he, what did we see this time? A whole lot of artifacts. Maybe we just play giant killers, because it's a creature. Because they're creatures. And they will kill Yorion. Like, kill, like, dead. <laughs> kill dead, you know. Kill it like it dies. Instead of exiling it until the creature leaves the battlefield, which is, like, horrible. Alright, this deck, this hand is, is decent, right? We have a 1-2-3 curve. Um, we have Hollow Blade on the play. He didn't mulligan, which is annoying. <laughs> Come on now, aren't you mulliganing? Like, we'll get white with this. Uh, it just really depends on what we draw, uh, if we draw land here. Goose, okay. And then we go, we go, we end up in this infinite cycle of Skyclave Apparition stuff, right? Kind of like, we'll just take this to get this thing back, right? Then you Skyclave Apparition me, then we're stuck back here again, then I'll maybe kill your Apparition. Like, you know, like, this is just going to take way too long. Just like, don't, just like, don't have a land here. But you have Goose, so... We haven't even damaged him yet. Like, we're a little slow, this this draw. It was a good curve, but, like, the fact that he had Goose kind of just shut us down. And then, like, the artifact was pretty good. Oh, and then he gets to Goose this. He gets to Goose this trap. Cracked. Alright, well, we're going to put it on Alcid, obviously. We get that extra one damage. Pretty necessary, to be honest. 
This is eight damage coming in. Well, it makes up for us not dealing any damage the last couple turns. The sad part is now it's equipped to our Alcid, right? So if he goes to kill it, we'll have to... Or if he goes to kill something else, we have to lose our Alcid. But I don't think he's going to kill anything else except for our Alcid right now. And then we can always re-equip it, right? So that's the whole... That's, like, you know, a nice thing. Board wipe would be pretty bad for us here. Um, which looks like he might have. He has same odd, though, if he loses his own boost. Yorion. Flickers, Goose, and Trail. Okay, so we kill the Yorion. We'll kill the Goose. We'll just kill it all. <laughs> just kill it all. If I draw a line, I can kill them both. But we're definitely going to kill this Yorion with a giant killer. Will I even kill them both, to be honest? Like, I might just, like, go for the 8. For a swing of the 8 again. Like, without having to lose the Goose. Because I think we kind of want this card to give Hollow Blade an indestructible, should it need to. Sure. Like, he's still dead next turn, technically, right? And he's going to name Odd, which means we can Hollow Blade will live. If he, has, if he even has the board wipe, right? Like... Okay, I mean, like, there was an argument to just kill it right there, but I don't think we could if he had, like, another removal spell or something, you know? <laughs> what to do, what to do. I think we attempt to put this on the Hollow Blade, right? Like, we just have to attempt at least, you know? See what he wants to do. And if he goes to kill it, I think we'll just kill the um this one spawn. Oh. If you have another Yorion, I'm gonna be so screwed and so pissed. But if you don't, then I'm gonna be happy. Do we play around Yorion by swimming with this? Yes, we do. Like we don't have Yorions, you do, even though you're getting a one uh even though you're getting a power up trade kind of. It's still, I think, better for us. And we have two malls, right? Like, we're just gonna keep putting malls on things until you just lose. I think, like, right? Like, we don't have a card in hand, though, right now. But he only has two cards in his hand, right? So, Pelucranos doesn't do the trick. It actually seals his fate. He's dead. What? It, why would you do that? Okay. Why? Okay. Don't worry about it, chat. Don't worry about it. That's a 30 minute game. Jesus. Why is this aggro deck just like not that quick, you know? It wins though. It wins. It finds a way to win one way or another. And that's what I like about this deck. This deck is now 7 0 for me. Alright, guys. How about that? Um, oh, if you didn't, you weren't able to. Oh, no. We're, we're good. Never mind. Yeah, so that, here, that's the list. Um, I was going to say thank you guys for stopping by. Oh, let's open a pack for you guys. You know what? A good buy pack. Oh yeah. Oh, this is the card I drafted. This is the card I pack one pick one. It's pretty nuts. The second ability is pretty nice because it triggers for each berserker. So if you attack with three, you get three of these triggers. So that's pretty nuts. Um, and yeah. Thank you guys for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to stream for you and record for you. So, mwah. peace.